My name is Hans Hansen and I would like to welcome you to our very first episode of Fix SF. Over the next several months, our video podcast will be looking at things going wrong in San Francisco and figure out ways to fix it. Today's episode is about how to fix San Francisco's retail. Today, throughout our neighborhoods, in our downtown, we're seeing high levels of vacancy. Our city government believes that most of the problem relies on landlords that basically are overcharging on rents. Today, I'd like to explore that that is not the problem. And I'd like to begin by showing you this space, which is in the Mission District and has been vacant for over a year. This is one of my listings. I'd like to offer you the ability to rent this space for free. This building is located in the Mission District, and previously the tenant that was in this building was in for over 70 years. The owner came in and recarpeted it, relit it, waiting for another tenant. We have had interest from a variety of different formula retail users, all of which have polled the neighborhood and felt that their chances to get approved were slim and therefore pulled out. We have had people look at converting this to a restaurant. We've had people look at this convert into a sports bar. We've had people look at this to do fitness, all of which would have to go through the conditional use process six to eight months at a cost of between thirty and seventy thousand dollars to go through that process only to find out if they would be allowed to come here. It remains vacant. This is not a landlord that is overcharging on price. This space is 5,000 square feet with 4,000 square feet of lower level for a total of 9,000 square feet. You can rent this space today for $12,000. Less than you can rent a warehouse space. And here it sits. So to understand the problem with San Francisco's retail, I'm going to make every one of you an offer you can't refuse. An average space in San Francisco today is approximately 1,500 square feet. And I'm going to offer you that space for free, no rent. And we're going to build what it's going to cost for you to actually open up this business. And then after I go through those numbers, I would like to ask you if you want to call me and rent those spaces for free. So you found a space. You're in the Sunset. You're in Irving. You're in West Portal and you found a space that you like, and I'm gonna give it to you for free. So what do you need to do? Well, first of all, there's a lot of restrictions that you have to be aware of. Let's say that you look at a space that was previously a restaurant, and now you wanna open up something other than a restaurant. In order to do so, you're gonna to have to file for a permit that's gonna require you to go through what's called the conditional use permitting process. Once you file that, you can expect to wait six to eight months in order to just find out if you will be qualified to actually secure that permit. In order to go through this process, you're going to have to hire a land use attorney. You're going to have to have an architect design renderings of your space. You're going to have to have a community organizer to basically walk the streets to get the community to support what you're planning on putting in that space. The average cost for a 1,500 square foot space to go through that process is $30,000. Next, you have to remodel the space. Today, the average cost to remodel a space is between $100 and $200 per square foot. Based upon $150 a square foot on average to remodel your space at 1,500 square feet, you're going to be spending closer to $225,000 necessary to go into the space. Next, you have to have a six month reserve to open up your doors. Typically, that's gonna run between $100,000 and $112,000. Next, you have to figure your labor cost. To operate seven days a week, 10 hours a day, assuming you're gonna need two people based upon a salary base of $17 a foot because you probably can't find anybody that will work for 15, 
your actual real cost per dollar is going to be $22 when you include all the benefits you're required to spend. You need to make $100,000 because frankly if you're going to open up a business and want to work less than $100,000 you might as well work in the current workforce where you could probably earn that without taking any risk. So you will have to work along with two people 10 hours, 7 days a week. The cost for that per month is roughly $8,500 plus your hard cost labor, $15,000 is what you have to do just to cover your labor cost. Now, you're signing a three-year lease. So you have to take that $225,000, the $30,000, and your reserve, and you need to amortize that over three years. If you do the math, your net hard dollar cost before we even talk about what type of product you're going to sell is $32,000 a month for a 1,500 square foot store. Now we have to talk about what are you going to sell. Most neighborhoods have a food and fitness exemption. They basically are not looking to expand food or fitness, which are the two hottest items in the retail market today. So as a result of that, you have to find out what can I sell to basically cover that $32,000 a month that is not something that I can buy on Amazon. Now, you only have a single store, so you have no buying power. We haven't talked about the fact that you don't have an advertising budget, so you need to rely on foot traffic on the street to find you and come into your door. On average, if you sold an item of $25, you would have to sell four items every hour, seven days a week for 10 hours in order to meet your objective of your $31,000 net cost per month for a single store. The question is, what can you sell? And that is the problem today with retail. Other than food, other than fitness, to sell something of services or something that is non-related to food and fitness is extremely difficult when you have no buying power and you're competing with Amazon and all the online services. So that is where the problem is with retail. Today, in the next couple of weeks, there's going to be an election for what is called Proposition D. It's a vacancy tax. The City Fathers believes that the problem is the landlord. The landlord is overcharging in rent, thereby preventing businesses from going into their space and causing this high vacancy to occur. The problem with the landlord is that he too needs rent. He has to pay his mortgage. He has to pay to run his business, which is his building. So the fact that you have the belief that a landlord with withhold the ability to rent space because he's trying to get a higher rent is not indicative of where we are in today's marketplace. Today, the problem is not the bad actors, which Supervisor Peskin calls the landlord. The bad actors are the Board of Supervisors and what we've done to the process to get ourselves into a business in San Francisco today. You have 68 months to go through the conditional use permit. If you've got more than 11 stores anywhere in the world, you'd be looking at 13 months of uncertainty while you go through and canvas the neighborhood and go through this formula retail provisions to try to get a permit. You have the high cost of entry. You have fees. And you still have to build out the store. Today, so difficult to get a contractor, you could be looking at anywhere from six months or, or longer just to be able to get the building and the space built out given today's tight labor market when it comes to contractors. So I'd like to invite you now to address how many of you in, in that's watching this video today want to take me up on my offer and take that space for free. The purpose of this video and all the videos I plan to make is to spark a dialogue, spark discussion, have more of you get involved in contacting our city officials, agreeing with me or disagreeing with me, but starting the dialogue. Today, most of us are going about our business and we're not getting involved. 
The city is such a bureaucratic state right now that most of us feel, what can I do? Well, I'm doing this video to try to make a change. You too could make a video. You too could comment on this video. And together, we might just be able to make a change.